Speaking of roads, the Minnesota Department of Transportation is thinking about improving safety on winter road conditions all year round. Yeah, this is an interesting concept. Fox 9 So Young Kim spoke with the lead researcher of the Solar Snow Fence Project. She joins us here in our studios. So uh, tell us about this solar technology and how it could help on those roads. Let me show you. Typically, you see solar panels on a roof. As you can see here, it's a fence made of solar panels. It acts as a barrier for drifting and blowing snow and even generates the energy needed to melt snow. We have a pattern for this. North Dakota State University researchers have developed the arrangement to create solar snow fences. Optimized to contain the snow and to prevent the snow get onto the highway. They've partnered with the Minnesota Department of Transportation to implement a first of its kind project in the state. We built uh, 100 feet of these solar snow fences in Clinton, Minnesota. We spoke with Mija Yang, an engineering professor at NDSU and the principal investigator on this collaboration with MnDOT. His team presented the final report this summer after monitoring the 100 foot installation for 18 months. So how does it work? He says the team found solar snow fences successfully performed several key functions. It serves as a traditional structure fence by providing a physical barrier to control drifting and blowing snow. The 112 solar panels used generated enough energy to adequately power a medium-sized house. Plus, a unique advantage of the design, it's also set up to melt snow. If we lay out all all of those snow melting pads and the ground, it will melt the snow on the top of that. You know, based on the power we generated, we pretty much we can melt, you know, two inches of snow per day. And researchers say the self-sustaining system could pay for itself within 10 years and has the potential of helping operations on farms, ranches, and homes. The benefits you get is the energy generated and also the uh, snow and ice removal operations you reduced. And MnDOT funded this project and Yang says the total cost was roughly $370,000, but most of that was research related costs. Materials and installation were a smaller portion of that budget. They're discussing and considering future installations. Live in studio tonight, So Young Kim, Fox 9. All right. All right. Thank you, So Young. Anything we can do to I keep know. snow off the roads. Those wide open spaces where it just blows and creates white out just conditions. Seeing the pictures of snow in the background. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so young. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. We will take humid and it's, we're going to get there soon enough. And think.